Now it's two days from Christmas. I could really be doing with a trip to the cherry tree and a home game. Instead, we're going to Sunderland. Here we are then, another Saturday morning, another away day. It's the final one of 2023 and Michael Beale is at the wheel for Sunderland today. A huge trip up north for us. Somewhere our past two visits have ended in a one-all draw. I've had some really good times at the stadium, I like to be fair. I'm hoping it's not a one-all draw today. I'll take it, but I want to win. Now, the thing is that I finally follow football on this channel. You go to some really nice places and Sunderland, as you can see, is one of them. Just such a beautiful place. Team is up. For me, this is the strongest team we've got. Some depth on the bench as well. Jake Bidwell obviously starting. Love to see that. He's dropped the silver latter board. Yeah, changed the team a little bit from the Leeds game. But I think tactically we did really, really well. Sunderland's first game under Michael Beale. I'll take a point. Need something from this game. But a win would be unbelievable to go into Christmas. Two home games for the new year as well. Here we are then, Stadium of Bright and of Akare. I tell you what, we've got to go all the way up there for some reason. I don't know why they put the away fans all the way at the top. Lyndon took his leg. Here we go then, up these stairs. I tell you what, not happy with that. They've nipped me portable charger. If you've only got half a vlog today, just blame this club, blame Sunderland. Here we are, we finally made it to the top of these stairs. I mean, the view's all right up here. I just don't get why they put the away fans up here and all the home fans down there. Not a fan of that at all. Here we are then, we got a nice little flag show from the Sunderland Ultras. There you go, kick off here at the Stadium of Light. It's silence in a home end now. They've sung Wise Men's Said or whatever it is. The one that Hall sing as well, a little bit louder than Sunderland. I mean, not much to really say about this game 15 minutes in. It's either us passing it round the back or them passing it round the back. You can already tell it's going to be a really, really tight game. And the atmosphere isn't great here either. There's a thousand of us, a fair play to everyone that's caught. But two days before Christmas, Sunderland away is not all I Identical save from the keeper. Two quality chances though. Awesome. I'll tell you what, it's all well and good when we're shooting down here. I can't imagine when we're shooting all down. We can't actually, you know, make out what's going on. We're just on the brink of the first half. Honestly, not much happened at all. There's been a couple of half chances. We've had to take Ben Chief off. Looks like he's injured. Hopefully, it's nothing serious. Josh Eccles has replaced him. Well, Cal, Adji Wright's been floored from a headlock. Take him on! He stumbled over the line, but we'll take it. It should have been a foul on Hadji Wright. Played on. Brilliant move from Callum O'Hare. Brilliant finish from Sakamoto. Yeah, Sakamoto's in again here. I mean, it doesn't matter how it goes in. We're in the lead, and we've got a bit of momentum now. Come on! Our players on the floor here. It's WWE going on over here. This is the longest I've ever had to wait for one of these corners from Josh Eccles. And there you go, half time. 1-0 up at the break. Well then, half time at the stadium and like, we're actually winning away from home. Very, very happy with it. It was a scrambled goal. I wouldn't say either team have really dominated. There's been a lot of passing around the back, to be fair. Possession-based football. Honestly, another goal. We can go on to win this game. We've played decent. O'Hare's looked good. I've been really impressed with Ellie Sims. You know, he's had a lot of his critics, but today he's done what he can with the resources and the options he's had coming forward. The thing I've got to complain about is no half-time entertainment. They used to do this thing here where you'd like race from one side to the pitch to the other. You know, top quality entertainment. If us and Sunderland are playing each other next season in this league, I'm going to bring up binoculars here because you forget how far away you actually are from the other goal up here. And there you go, second half underway. It's too easy for him, way too easy for him. Great from Thomas. I mean, Sunderland have started a lot better this second half. They're putting pressure on, they're coming forward a lot more smoother and they look a lot more confident than they did in the first half. Oh, huh? Yeah! 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 Ye
City who look sucking under power us under a lot of pressure. They look a solid team second half. We could be in trouble. Brilliant from forward from Hadji Wright. Good save to Callum O'Hare. And what a strike. Come on. Well, after that, we made a couple of changes. Left the board here. Casey Palmer coming on. Looks like Callum O'Hare has come off. And Jake Bidwell is the captain. Things you love to see. <laughs> One of the Sunderland players gone down injured, as you can see. The stadium will light has quickly turned into DFS, the amount of empty seats now. The amount of fans have blocked out after them two goals. I mean, other than probably the first 15 minutes of the second half, Sunderland did have a couple of good chances in the first half, but it was not Tony Mowbray who was pushing the turn. Because this team is completely different than the one that we played back in, was it August at the CBS? Completely different side. Really not a good start for Michael Beale, I'll tell you that. But another quality result. These are lingering around the playoffs. So if we're getting results like this, quality. Jake Bidwell! Jake Bidwell! Jake Bidwell! Jake Bidwell! And there you go, full time. From the stadium we like booze all around from the home fans. What a performance, I was not expecting that. <laughs> Fantastic performance now. Two home games left for this year. It's quality today from the lads. Still out of the second half. Some of them are they were going to cause us a couple of problems. But when we find it from way two, we've got them two goals. We didn't look like looking back.